Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese, as always. I got some really good defensive plays for you today. I'm using the Packers playbook, but this is not necessarily the playbook you need to use. Any 3-4 playbook um, that is based in a 3-4, I should say, rather, if it's like a, a mix. like If it's like a hybrid like the Raiders or the Patriots, they might not have this. But if it's a 3-4 defensive playbook, it should have this formation. It's the 34 under. Um, and it's really one of the better run stopping formations are really good But show you some really good pass setups and a really good blitz out of it basically a nice scheme um, If you use a 3-4 quite a bit, this is a really good um, Setup to use so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick the first play if you guys want to see more defensive plays and more defensive plays out of the Packers uh, Make sure you let me know in the comment section or hit the like button uh, other than that Let's go ahead and let's pick the uh, the base defense. That I like to use which is the cover three sky and we'll go We'll pick that first then um, I'll pick this random single back. I'm not going to run a play uh, just yet, so it doesn't really matter. So we're going to go and we're going to pick that. Now, as far as the uh, the setup goes, I don't know what it is about this formation, but it just naturally stops the run. I'm, I'm not going to uh, pretend to know. I'm not going to break it down. But basically, um, there's something about the way this is, this defense is set up. All I really do is move this uh, this safety down a little bit, and it doesn't affect him in coverage. I mean, he's got to drop back over here. But uh, any safety that's you know got a decent amount of speed is worth their worth their mustard is going to handle it. So I'm dropping him down for outside contain, and now you can see I really have uh, two guys. I mean this outside linebacker is set up really nice on the other side, and you basically have what looks like a four six um, to an extent, or like a, you know yeah, it looks like you have four. I'm sorry, it looks like you have like six down linemen and two backers. This is a really good setup. Like I said, I don't want to move around anybody too much. Just moving this safety down, and you'll see how this stops the run. Now, I don't know what this first play is going to be, so let's run against some run plays real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about. Like I said, it's a really basic setup. I'll show you a really nice blitz off of it, too. So let's go ahead and let's pick some, uh, some random run plays here. We'll go concept, power, I guess. I don't know. All right, so like I said, I'm going to do is move. I don't even have to move this guy down half the time. Leaving him up is not a bad option. He helps with inside run a little bit better. Uh, but like I said, I'm not going to do much, and this is basically going to self-contain. As you see right there, he only gets about two yards before somebody's wrapping him up. I actually think that's a little bit more than I expect him to get most times. So let's go ahead. I mean, this is not the best defense on the planet. Uh, they play pretty good against Seattle, so maybe they'll get an improvement. But uh, you're going to see how this basically just shuts down the run like that. Like I said, I'm not doing a whole lot here. You know, I like leaving the safety back, too. I think that's a good look. I just think for the blitz scheme, I'm going to show you bringing the safety down is good. Like I said, in this scenario, I feel like leaving Clinton Dix back is a better way of stopping the run. But I think since I'm going to show you a blitz where, where with the safety, it's best to disguise it like that. This looks like an inside zone. I don't know what else this could be. Um, but there's just nowhere to go. I mean, they're, not, they're barely getting a yard half the time. I wish it would come out a little bit of something heavier. I mean, this is kind of feels like cheating now. All right, so there, there's a nice heavy formation. That's what I was hoping to get a little bit more of. So we'll get a more realistic look here. And it uh, looks like they're going backside, but you know what? I mean, there's people there wrapping them. Falls four for a couple yards because he's a power back. So that's a really good uh, run stopping formation, like I was saying. Then I'll show you a, a nice blitz here to turn up the heat. I like some of these cover two looks too, like the OLB strike. Um, you get a nice cover two coverage, uh, as well as uh, you know some good. You got five guys rushing, so I think that's good. But my favorite blitz um, is easily the uh, the FZ or the FS slant three. So we'll go and we'll pick that, and we'll go random single back here. So this guy here, all these, you know, obviously you just bring him down the same way I showed in the first play, and that's really your look. You probably want to get Martinez over a little bit because he's got to cover some space, and it's up to you. I mean, I'd rather cover the middle here. Um, it's up to you if you want to drop back uh, one of these, um, you know, defensive ends. Although this is a three-four, if you probably want somebody with a little bit more speed, a little bit more athletic to handle that to help you out in the middle. Uh, but basically, it would look something like this, um, as I would want my. Uh, you know, my, my my change my assignment a little bit, but yeah, it looks like we're both in a mid read here. I don't. I mean, that's what I get when I bl I want to bluff blitz Lowry because I don't necessarily want him to uh, just straight drop off the line. I'm hoping that'll hold somebody up, and then I can stand over here in this pocket too. So let's go ahead and let's run this once or twice like this. 
I'm gonna do a clap. I'm gonna do a hard flat because that's where the computer likes to go. They're the check down kings of the game. So yeah, exactly. So they go short, get a couple yards, which I expect them to do. They're gonna they're gonna take a lot of check downs if this play gets heat. So so I'm gonna keep bluff blitzing. And really, I, I I don't find it really matters what area you crowd, but you can see how coming off the edge there is gonna be big against the run as well. Yeah, and since I like I was saying in the previous play, bringing Clint Dix down. Uh, was a good look. It's going to be hard for your opponent to diagnose, you know, which which time you're sending the heat. So go ahead, and we'll do this again. Oh, we both we both jumped on that dude. Uh, it took a little while to get the heat, but there it is. Clint Dix finally gets in there for the sack. But if you want to get a little extra heat, you could always let. Uh, let this guy go Lowry I don't think I even did it right last time I think I just put him in a I think I just stood him up I don't think I put him in a bluff blitz which might have had part of that issue but uh, but yeah this is a, a really good uh, to, if you want to turn the heat up a little bit you got to cover the middle by yourself though which I'm not always a huge fan of look at this he just chucks it up we get the pick I'm pretty sure if I watch the replay there which I might hear in a second uh, I might be able to get a touchdown here but it's whatever I'm pretty sure if I watched the replay it was probably uh, heat that did it so let's go let's take a look like I said, I'm running against a computer, so they'll get rid of the ball. Um, as, yeah, you can see, I mean, Clinton Dix just comes in untouched as the uh, the guard and the tackle engage on 53. And uh, it just leaves my man coming in here right at the quarterback. So you're going to see plays like that. All right, so we'll run it a couple, a couple more times. And like I said, I'm going to keep trying to bluff Blitz Lowry because I don't want to cover the middle by myself. I, w I would hope that I would put in a better... Uh, defensive end a little bit more of a, of a speed guy as you see there we get heat again I'm gonna watch the replay he got it off like I said the linebackers on the Packers kind of stink especially in Madden terms but let's take a look at what happened there as you see here it takes a little bit longer but you can see how 73 still doesn't react to him 73 is just standing there doing nothing and I don't know why but like I said he had to go around he's still getting a free run at the quarterback though which is the which is the purpose of this blitz? But like I said, this is you know I run against a the computer. They're gonna do stuff to get rid of the ball. Yeah, I really finds best to uh, to stand up Lowry though. And then like I said, you gotta get Martinez out. Uh, he's got to be out there to cover his zone. So this is the way that I run it. And I typically just like to stand in this gap. You know, hopefully there's somebody. Oh, he reads. I don't know why Wentz took off. <laughs> he read pressure. <laughs> okay, there we go. He finally got taken down. Like I said, the computer has some weird system where they read blitz and just take off a lot of times. I don't know, where they get rid of the ball. Something in their program. And there's Clay Matthews making a play. He's running opposite side of the blitz. Oh, that dude was coming right up the center there and he got picked up and he still got it. Let's go. All right, so let's see if we get a little bit. Uh, you know, I didn't really mention you should probably put your fastest uh, blitzing guy at that safety spot too. And you see here, you know, good coverage. We're getting some uh, getting some heat from the inside line, um, and I think that comes a lot from stacking these gaps the way that I am. You know, it's going to get. I've noticed the DT gets in quite a bit, as well as the safety off the edge. Is there? He was getting heat again, but he had to get it out. Got that to the check down. But you know, heat's heat, man. That's all that matters. So I'm gonna keep doing this gap. It seems to be helping out that DT. And we got some nice edge pressure there, but it was a run, so it's whatever. Yeah, I find that this um, me standing in this gap seems to be helping out that defensive tackle get get through. So that's probably the better gap to go. And there we get that edge heat again. He gets it out though for a couple yards, but the guy was there. Yeah, I keep I keep doing cloud flat too. I just find that they cover more space than they probably should this year. Really effective, uh, you know, uh, adjustment. And then uh, they're just you know that defensive tackle just keeps getting through. So let's go ahead and let's move on. So that's it. That's the vid. Um, you know, like I said, I don't know if I emphasized enough, but standing in that gap with that middle linebacker uh, was really helping out that DT get down. Uh, you know, making sure he wasn't getting double teamed or nothing like that. So that's the bit. If you want to see more defensive plays, do me a favor, hit the like button, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Moy, shit out.
Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.